Hey everyone, it's Deja from crochetoverafter.com. Today I'm going to do a review on these Shalimar yarns. And this is Haven, or it's the Haven line. And the color of this yarn is Corfu. So if you like the color, that is what you're going to be looking for. But this is a wool and silk blend. So it's 63% merino, 37% Tissot silk, and it's got 247 yards, so it's quite a good size hank. It's, um, it's not super soft to the touch. We'll see how it works once we block it out, but I'm going to make a scarf pattern with this, so I'll be using probably both, because I'm going to make a really big, thick, chunky um, scarf with this. So I'm going to go wind it up, see how it winds up, and then I'm going to crochet it up, so I'll let you know how I like it. Alright, I've got the Shalimar all wound up. These are really big cakes, you can see like the size of my hand compared to the to the yarn. So it looks like this is kind of a tonal dye, so it's not um, where it's painted different colors. So I think I should be good to use one cake, because it's now a cake, um, and then the other cake. Sometimes with independent yarn you have to alternate, so I would do a few rows in this color and then a few rows in this color. That way there wouldn't be any kind of um, demarcation where the two cakes will switch off. But I'm going to try using just one and then the other and we'll see how close they are. That's um, always a plus. It's not fun to have to switch every other row or every couple of rows. So I'm usually not a fan of those types of yarns. I try to avoid them. But these look close enough that I should be good. And it's a tonal, so it should crochet up really well. So I'm going to get started on my project, and then I will show you how it looks. Okay, I finished my project with the Shalimar yarn. And if you look really closely, because remember I said I was going to do one hank and then switch to the other hank and not intersperse it. So if you look, you can see kind of right here, the middle part, you can see this side looks a little different from this side. You can see kind of the dark and light is a little bit more pronounced on this side of the cowl shawl scarf that I made than on this side. So it does, even though this is the same dye lot, it wasn't dyed exactly the same. So what that means is if you're going to get this yarn and maybe use it for a sweater or something where you might need two full hanks for the front or the back or something that's going to be seen as one piece, then you're going to want to take your yarn and change it every few rows or rounds. Because this is going to be a project that's joined up in the round, it does not really matter to me that it has that delineation because you're not really going to see it in the finished product. But I wanted to do this on purpose so you could see if the dye lots are close enough to be able to do this or not. So as you can see, um, it's not super noticeable. This is going to be the um, winter wrap pattern, so you can look at the final pictures once I um, put it all together and take the photos. You can see what it looks like and see if you can tell the difference, but I doubt you will be able to. But other than that, the yarn worked up really well. It was easy to frog. I really liked it. It um, has softened up since I blocked it, so it's not quite as stiff as it was. So it's a very nice yarn. It did um, bleed slightly when I was blocking it. I wet blocked it, so I put it into a bowl to block it. And I had a little bit of blue, but not too much. So it didn't like bleed and all over the place. It just kind of left a little hazy blue in the water, and that was it. So great yarn, highly recommend. Check it out, Shalimar Yarns, and thank you for watching.